Hey peeps, so I'm back with another video. It's the last trial run uh, before I start doing other uh, nail stuff. I am waiting for a couple things to come in the mail. So the next video after this will be like um, probably some haulish stuff. Like I'll do a haul of my, um, not I have glitter, I have a lot of glitter that I'll eventually be using, but I'm not going to do a haul of that. Sorry. I mean, if you want me to, maybe down the line, I'll do one. I'll, I'll see if people want me to do a glitter haul. Almost all the glitters I have from Sparkling Penny Pincher. Um, she makes these amazing custom mixes. So I think all of my glitter mixes are from her. I don't think I have a single glitter mix that's not um, from her. I buy stuff for people's birthdays, Christmas. They make amazing gifts. So that's who I go to. That's my go-to person. Um, but yeah, so... I, um, right now, I'm, I have these, I have the glitter polish, though. I actually love this color. It's Leading Lady from Essie. It, this usually has really good coverage. So, <coughs> we're going to see it on the nails. I have made some adjustments. I have Jealous, because I also want the nails to be hard, like firm, um, and not chip when people use them. And I know that this is a really good way of doing that without having gel nails. So, that's what we're going to try. Of course, I have my Sesh Vite. Um, last video, that other thing, the lint was like kind of sticky. The lint from the wipe was sticking. So I'm just going to brush it down really firm with this um, thicker brush from Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, and then I have uh, this file if I want to use it. And then this buffing file. I'm just going to use the um, probably medium grit side. And then, one second, I'll show you. And then I have more glue dots under the table in case I need it. And the box is there too. So just kind of like going to file this and then you're going to look at it in the light to see if it's filed enough. You don't have to go too hard um, on it. You just have to make sure that it's not shiny anymore. And if they have that little, if there's like a little piece, you just kind of like go over it once to kind of flatten it out so that on your nail, this does not fit my nail at all, but on your nail, it will fit. I actually don't even know which is the, whoop, I love how I dropped that. <laughs> I'm going to file them all and then I'll get back to y'all. Okay, so all of the nails are done, right? I've buffed them. I actually used this side, which was called, it was step three or something, I don't know. Um, to gently buff it, and then I wiped, like I said, I wiped it. I wiped it three times in each direction. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, for each nail, I got a whole bunch of the powder off. And I think it did a pretty good job. There's like some on my hands, and my hands are... Yeah, I got, the, I got it off. I really shouldn't be touching it because you need to have it dry and not oily from the oils in your hands, blah, blah, blah. Um, I need to wear gloves at some point, but I don't really want to, like, throw away a bunch of gloves every time I do this. Anyway, um, so that is what I've done. They're in different directions because I'm going to be painting them, and I want to see how that's going to work out. I'm hoping I can kind of understand a better direction, but I'm also... Ugh, hello. Can you see me? I will adjust the light. Hopefully you can still see me. But I told you that it would be easier if the camera was on my face. I'm just taking the, loosening these three polishes because it is impossible to do it the way I've been doing it before. So I'm holding it like this. I'm gonna move the camera slightly. I have no idea what's directly behind me besides my room, but anyway. I'm gonna put the coat of the jealous on. You don't have to put a thick coat because you're gonna be putting a few. And this is the top, so you just kind of swoop it. And I'm wearing this mask because these fumes are no joke. In case anyone was wondering, I no longer have bronchitis. I have pneumonia now. Um, I don't understand it. You don't want to put a thick coat on either. Um, I don't 100% remember what, I mean, base coats are really good if you're, for instance, if you have, um, uh, oh, sorry, actually it's this, that's, so maybe an issue because the capping, this is the cap of the edge, so I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, y'all. We'll figure it out together, I guess. So, in hoozy. I find it much easier to paint it when it's like right on top of me. Like I can get all the edges I want to get. Like this is, so I don't know if that other directional part will matter as much. Go. And I think having it um, pointed this way is better for me. There we go. Not too much because you're going to make thick lay a thick layer of this because these nails are pretty thin. The, the nails from, um, this is the, are pretty thin in nails. 
So you don't have too much to worry about. Oh, sorry, this is the edge. I always forget which is the edge of the cap. Great, so this is gonna dry. I'm gonna let this dry for like, hmm, like two minutes, because you don't want it super, super, super dry. Let it dry for two minutes, then I'm gonna put my base coat on, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like, because the other two steps are just repeating, and then I'm putting on the top coat. But I want you to see the top coat so you can see that it's not like uh, bleeding on it. So like three layers of the Jealous, so Jealous, Polish, Jealous, Polish, Jealous, and then Sejvit, because Sejvit, even though it's a hardener, it also shrinks your, um, it can shrink your nail color, like your, your nail polish. So yes, so we will be back when this is ready to go. We're back. So it's been about, yeah, it's still a little tacky, actually. You can see that. So we're going to go on with Leading Lady. I actually shook this, like, less than 24 hours ago but you, if you shake polish you want to let it settle so here we go one of my cats is uh loving on this camera and myself she wants attention in the worst way um i absolutely love her i love both my children i can't even front i don't i don't know the kind of person who's like oh i love you but i really really i love my kids my house wouldn't be complete without them capping the edge you can cap the other edges, but the other edges are going to be pressed against your nail, the other three. This is the, oh, no, this is not. This is the, the one that goes there. This is the edge that you need to worry about capping. There we go. Like I said, I'm going to do um, a layer of this and a layer of the Jealous. It's a bit thick. A bit thick. I have these polishes. I'm actually gonna get a nail thinner, like a something that like that's made to thin out the nail polish, like a nail coat or nail polish thinner. Um because I don't want there to be an issue. Okay, cool. Cap to that edge. I feel like everything has such a strong smell, but I don't know if it's the smell that's really strong or like because I have pneumonia I am just experiencing it more. I have no idea. I have no idea how any of this works, y'all. Yes. Sorry, one of my kids was talking to me. Yes, Papa. He wants attention, but I'm clearly busy. And it's okay if you get this messed up, y'all. Y'all got this from Dollar Tree, right? If you did it with me, you got all their stuff from Dollar Tree. Ain't no worries, baby. So, I just dip it in. There's still a lot in there. It's not like it's a little bit. That's not why I want to thin it. I want to thin it up because it's, um, it's just too uh, thick. And it's hard to handle. Oh, excuse me. Oh, see, and this is why I also had to pick it up because when I had the other one, it was hard to see what I didn't get. And I don't have my glasses on. So with my glasses on, I can see um, further away much easier. But I didn't want to wear my glasses because I was going to wear my gog these goggles because the other things weren't helping. They were not They were not what I'd hoped they'd be. They were too foggy with the face mask. And I need the face mask because my throat is killing me so I actually have always been a fan of the Essie polishes for the way that their glitter uh, spreads the glitter polishes from Essie I think I don't think I've ever had a miss in my mind with them um, they have generally been hits that other polish is weird but this one I did for me and again remember this is a durability test so that when I make the next nail video, um, not next newbie nail video, but the next nail video in general you see will be of me making a set. There'll be a few videos in between that, but there you go. This, five minutes, then I'm going to put the Jealous, mm, three minutes because that's a super thin coat, then one more of this, one more of the Jealous, remember I'm, I'm making layers and it's okay with this to make it thick because these are fairly thin nails, <coughs> and then the Sesh Vite twice um i will get back to you after the first um layer of such feet so you'll see kind of how it looks i just put two for insurance so yes i'll be back when i'm putting on the um such feet so i realized that view i gave y'all wasn't really great i saw the footage like right after i shot it um this is what they look like amazing the glitter is really well distributed like i said i got some there because i was putting them whatever it's fine it'll be fine everything will be fine um but yeah this is what they look like and i guess i'm gonna put the jealous on wait three minutes put that um put this on probably wait 10 minutes because there's so many coats on it then the top coat of the jealous 
however long and then I'll show you what it looks like with the jealous as a top coat because some people have said that I'm not doing that I want the sesh feet the one I know is a great top coat they also sell them together so and this also says base on it so I'm not using it as a top coat I don't do base coat top coat top base coat slash top coat things generally so there you go and yeah so I'll be back when I've done the other coats we're back I hope you can hear me over the um the heater it is cold in here uh, it is the next day, and here's one of the nails. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. And it feels extremely thick. Like, it can't bend that much. Um, and this is the nail from last time, and this one bends. Oh, not bad. So, um, kind of just looking at them. Because remember, this only had, this has two coats of the SE. This is just not the greatest polish. This has two coats of the SE, and then two coats of the... Um, Sejvi. So yeah, you can. I feel like you can tell the difference. I feel like, and they're the same size nail. This nail actually looks smaller and more curved. Um, the gloss, the gloss on this is just beautiful. Like it, it, it has an amazing glossy like texture to it. Even though Sejvi's on top, like what laid the foundation for it was that jealous. Ding, it's nice. Um. This is glossy, but not as even. Because remember, they said it shrinks. And I do see some shrinkage around the entire perimeter. And I know I got the whole perimeter. So there is some shrinkage here. But looking here, I don't really see. Uh, I do see some here, too. So I think it shrinks no matter what. So I'd probably have to just pour it over the nail. Like, not literally. You know what I mean. Um, but let's see. I know I didn't want to mess these up, but we're going to see. For instance, are they durable? How durable are they? Hmm. You know what's funny? I noticed this. I, f I can see the ridges that, f that were from here on here. I don't see that on here at all. But it doesn't look like these are going to chip anytime soon. I'm going to knock it against something. No. I don't know what else I could knock it against. Actually, I should probably just like that. No. No. This still smells though. Does this one do? No, this one no longer smells. So, we know what to do for the next video. We have to angle it a certain way and all this other stuff. Um, I do have another video coming up like soon after this. It's going to be really cool. I think it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a really cute little haul-ish video. Um, but I'm glad you stayed tuned to see this. I, you know, this didn't take, I mean, these are, I guess, labors of love. <laughs> Um, so it wasn't like they took this took a super long time. It was just like it was a lot, but it makes this nail really sturdy. Like this nail is very much is very sturdy because of it. So yeah. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.